Hi everyone, this video is about functions and algebraic fractions. In it, calculus and algebra are going to battle it out, each using their own rules, over the simple question of are x squared over x and x the same? And the answer we're going to discover is it depends. Let's discover the maths. As we love to say on this channel, mathematics is much more than just using algorithms and doing calculations. It's about understanding why you're doing what you're doing, what underlies the method you're using, and recognizing its importance. The question here is whether x squared over x and x are the same. First, we'll look at the question from the point of view of calculus. For this, we need to remind ourselves about the key concept of a map. A map is a triple, three things, A, B, F, where A and B are sets, the domain and the codomain, and F is a subset of the Cartesian product, A times B, such that for each small a in A, there's a unique small b belonging to b, such that ab belongs to f. For example, here we have a map. Notice that there are three components, an initial set or domain, a, a final set or codomain, b, and the subset, f, of the Cartesian product, a times b. f is the set formed by the pairs, a1, B1, and C3. Now, ask yourself, what about the two that no arrow reaches? The condition for a map to be applied is that an arrow comes out of each element of the domain, that each element of the initial set has a single image. We don't need to worry about the elements of the final set. In this case, we have a map that isn't surjective. It's not injective either, because A and B have the same image. But we still have a map. In our case, the map represents the function small f, which is the triple A, B, capital F. A real function of a real variable as a particular case of a map will also be given by three elements. But if we consider a function such as f of x equals x over x minus 1, we see only one thing, not three. Well, in the case of real functions of a real variable, the codomain is r, and the domain is, by convention, the maximum subset of r in which the expression that defines the function makes sense. In the example here, the domain is all real numbers except those that make the denominator zero. That is, r less than the set that just contains one. Going back to our problem about whether x squared over x and x are the same, if we let f of x equal x squared over x and g of x equal x, these maps are different because they don't have the same domain. For the first, the domain is r less than the set that just contains 0. And for the second, the domain is r. Here are the graphs of both. They're very similar, but they're not the same. So considered as functions, x squared over x and x are different. Now we're going to analyze x squared over x and x from the point of view of algebraic fractions. Consider the set of polynomials with coefficients in R. This set is usually denoted as R followed by x in square brackets. 
As you know, in this set we can define the operations addition, subtraction and multiplication. However, as with the integers for the product, in the case of Rx, not all the elements have an inverse. Only the non-zero constant polynomials have. The structure of Rx with the operation sum and product is called the integral domain. We'll talk more about this concept in another video. As in the case of integers, we can consider fractions of polynomials and everything is done in the same way as for fractions of integers. We say that two fractions, p of x over q of x and r of x over s of x are equivalent, so we can put an equal sign between them, if when we cross multiply we obtain the same result, that is p of x times s of x is equal to q of x times r of x. This is a binary equivalence relation and if we consider all the fractions equivalent to each other as the same we obtain the field of algebraic fractions denoted by r followed by x in parentheses. This construction which is done in the same way for fractions of integers and for fractions of polynomials is called the field of quotients of an integral domain. In our case x squared over x is the same as x which is x over 1 because when we cross multiply we get the same result x squared. For this when we work with algebraic fractions we can simplify. So from the point of view of algebra, x squared over x and x are the same. The situation is complicated and controversial. For example, look what happens when we represent f of x equals x squared over x in maxima. The avoidable discontinuity doesn't appear. Why? So, to conclude, the answer to the question is x squared over x and x are different when considered as functions, but they're the same when considered in terms of algebraic fractions. As in other occasions in mathematics, depending on the context in which we find ourselves, we'll interpret the outcome one way or some other way. Well, I hope you found this useful. Uh, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.